Hey, this is Bill from St. Johnsbury Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. I'm here with this 2024 Dodge Durango. I'm excited about this. We don't get too many of these on the lot and they're really nice SUVs. We're gonna take this thing for a ride today and show you the features. All right, we're pulling out here in this 2024 Dodge Durango. I chose to do a test drive in this one today. So we don't actually get a lot of these on the lot. Uh, this is a real nice example of a Durango. So let's see how it drives. So one of the big things that Dodge does very well is comfort. Um, the inside of this vehicle is not only quiet, but the seats are comfortable. It's very smooth on the road. There's not a lot of noise at all. So it's, it's a pleasure to drive. So we've been driving for a few minutes now. Really happy with how this thing drives. Nice tight steering, smooth suspension. This vehicle's really good if you have kids, but also just for a general purpose vehicle. Um, it's a great kind of in-between size. It does have the third row, but it's not a gigantic SUV. All right, we're going to do a quick acceleration test. I am in sport mode. Gonna get on the gas now. So this is the 3.6 liter V6. It's got plenty of power for a six cylinder, absolutely. It's still fuel efficient, which is great. All right, let's do a quick rundown of the features in this vehicle. So of course, you're gonna have all power options, power windows, power locks. You're gonna have your hands-free on the left side of the steering wheel here for your Bluetooth, radio controls, uh, phone, stuff like that. On the right side here, all your cruise control settings. This one does have the adaptive cruise control, which you can set your distance from the car in front of you. On the steering wheel here, you also have some paddle shifters, so it kind of gives it a sporty feel as you drive. Moving to the center, we have a large touchscreen. We also have heated seats, ventilated seats, all your air controls here. Sport mode, eco, uh, eco mode as well to save you some fuel there. Your automatic shutoff when you're at a stoplight save you a little bit more fuel. This one has parking sensors, traction control. And if you look here under the steering wheel, this one also has a trailer brake control. Great if you're gonna tow a small camper or a boat, anything like that. And this one also has a power telescoping and adjustable wheel. There's a switch right here on the left side. So we are sitting on ebony red leather seats it's a really cool color in this um, otherwise black interior. As I mentioned, they are heated and ventilated seats above me here. Um, also great on a summer day. It's this sunroof here. Open it up, lets a ton of light in, lets some air in the cab. You also have a button here for your power lift gate. Nice when you want to have someone else load the tailgate while you're sitting in the driver's seat. Built-in garage door opener. You can program that to your home as well. All right, we're in the back seat now. As you can see, there's plenty of room back here. These seats recline. They're also heated. You have your heated seat button down here. You also have some USB ports and a 115 volt outlet down there if you need to plug something in. We also have a third row behind me. Plenty of room back there for the kids. As you can see on the other side, it also will fold down so you have extra storage space back there as well. All right, we're pulling back in now. I enjoyed that ride. It's not often we get a Durango on the lot for whatever reason. We just don't see too many of them here. So it's a unique opportunity to, to get into one today. Great driving car, excellent family car. Hi, Kyle. Great driving car, excellent family car, plenty of room. Thank you for watching. Please show your support for us by liking our video and subscribing to our channel.